Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how we can create power-ups using states. Now, we're not actually going to be creating a power-up which allows you to shoot something new or something. I'm going to be teaching you how to kind of make power-ups. So, when our power-up level goes to 1 or 2 or whatever you want it to be at, it's going to run a certain logic box. And we can use states to do this. So, this is going to be more of teaching you how you can do it instead of teaching you exactly this is one power-up you can do because that would be pretty niche. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Blender Game Engine and also change this to Game Logic Layout. Um, and by default it's an author orthographic so I want to change that back to normal. So we're going to go ahead and create a property and this is going to be an integer and you want to, this is going to be your, your level up state or your power up state. So. I'm going to go ahead and just call this um, level up or just L, LU for level up. And so we want to go ahead and add our logic to the first one. So this is going to be our normal logic. So, you know, the moving of the cube, the whatever you want the cube to do just by default without any power ups or anything. So I'm just going to add a keyboard sensor here, which is going to be W. Um, I just call it W so I can see what it's for and this is what we're going to do by default. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add a motion and we're going to go ahead and connect these up and I am going to make this move on the Y by 0.2 and now you can see when we hit W it moves on the Y by 0.2. Uh, so there's our basic logic going. You could have it for uh, W, A, S, D, all that stuff you liked but that should be fine. So as you can see now, we have all of these states. When you click that little plus button up on the side, we have these states. So as you can see, we click through them, the logic bricks show and disappear. And this is because these are almost like little groups of logic bricks or layers of logic bricks. So each layer holds different logic bricks. And by default, you're on the first layer. So that's where you usually are doing most of your logic bricks, but you do have other layers. So we're going to go ahead and click on the second layer on the visible tab and I'm going to go ahead and add a logic brick. Now this could be whatever you want, this could be a collision, this could be a message. Basically whenever you want your player to level up you want this to activate. So in this case I'm just going to have it hit spacebar. And we're going to go ahead and add one to the level up variable or property. So we're going to go ahead and click this show debug properties and also show debug properties up here in the game menu. And as you can see, it's showing up in the corner and when we press space, it is going up. So we can go ahead and add a property. So go ahead and select our level up property. Um, so we can go ahead and say if this is equal to one, we are going to head and we're going to go and set the state. So this is a logic book that sets the state. So we can go ahead and set the state. We can go ahead and add a state. We can remove it or change a state. In this case, we are going to add. Uh, so we've got change to add up here as well. And we've got remove and all this different stuff. But um, add's probably the best one we can have. So basically what add's going to do is it's going to add on to the states we have and set's just going to do what it says it's going to set the state so um if we were to click all of these when it sets the state those are the only ones that are going to be active if we set this to add state it's also going to add on top of these initial ones which we should have checked by default anyway because we want both of these to run because the second layer is going to be the one making sure all the power up stuff is working so want both of those enabled by default so that's what the initialize one is for down the bottom so you just want to enable both of those so in this case we want to add our properties not set we want to add and we want to add it to the third one so now what you'll see um well you've seen at the moment is we can put our logic books on the third one and when that's enabled it will work for the third one so all the logic bits on the third one, as soon as this is activated, will suddenly be able to be used, which is useful. So um, you want to make sure that everything is working. So the two bottom ones do need to be enabled because that's what we have by default. The Up the top, you can see the visible. That doesn't really matter. It's just basically what we can see 
when we are working with logic bricks so that's not really important so we're going to go to the third layer and this is going to be the same it's going to be w um so same logic we had before you could have anything here um, i'm just using it to increase the speed and i'm going to set this to uh, 0.5 should be fine uh, now if you click level what this is going to do is when the when we got, come to the third state is basically it's going to make this happen by default if you do not click this level you're going to have to unpress w and then press it again before it will speed up so we just want to make sure this level is ticked and then this will work as soon as the state changes so you want to have that level on by default right so we can go back to our first layer and if we press space as you can see it goes to one and it's running those other logic bricks so this could be used for a lot of other stuff and it's not just for the speed thing this is kind of a basic thing on how to do it uh, there's a lot more you could do you could have this add an object or something like that um, but as you can see we can show all of our logic bricks here as well if we'd like or just certain ones so the top one's actually quite useful uh, so you could have a third one here as well you just kind of copy the same thing so let's say we when we don't have this uh, sorry when we have this we, we have a second um, power up what you can go ahead and do is just what I did there and another property if it's equal to 2 then we can set it to state 4 sorry we can add state 4 on so let's say you want this property that the state to disappear because this is going to be all your code or logic bricks to run your power up let's say you want this to go away if we're not equal to the power up state of this one you can just go ahead and do what I did is change that property to not equal so if it's not equal to one we can go ahead and remove and the third state so as you can see we're going to remove the state that we're on so now if we press space and then we press it again actually as you can see it is working what we can go ahead and do though just to make it a lot easier to test so if we come back to our property we can set this to toggle and what this is going to do is it's going to go between 0 and 1. So now as you can see we can toggle it and we can see it goes faster and slower. I mean you can do a lot of other stuff. You can have a lot of different things happening. So if the parrot up states at the right position you could be adding different objects or, or different stuff like that. So there's a lot you can do with this. This is kind of just more a the way you can do it and not necessarily how you can make a certain power up or something for your game.